You are CEO and, and chairman of Facebook. Um, that's an extraordinary amount of power, given that you rule a kingdom of two billion people digitally, essentially. Um, shouldn't your power be checked? You know, I, I always talk about how we need to partner with governments around the world um, and other companies and, and nonprofits and, and, uh, and other sectors. Um, so yes, I, I don't think fundamentally that we're going to be able to address all of these issues by ourselves. People signed up for Facebook thinking that it was a way to just stay in touch with their friends. And now some of them feel that, that there's some snooping going on. Is there any concern you're turning Facebook into something much more commercial? I actually think that this makes it less commercial. I mean, what would you rather see? A banner ad from Bloomingdale's? Or that one of your friends bought a scarf? Facebook's been served with subpoenas from the special counsel Mueller's office. Is that correct? Yes. Have you or anyone at Facebook been interviewed by the special counsel's office? Yes. But it's not enough to have that purpose yourself. You also have to create a sense of purpose for others. And I found that out the hard way. You see, my hope was never to build a company. I wanted to have an impact. And as all these people started joining us, I just assumed that that's what they wanted to do too. So I never took the time to explain what it was that I hoped we'd build. So you are not stepping down as chairman. That's not the plan. Well, I guess this shows how difficult it is for a company like yours to make money through advertising and protect people's real privacy and their sense of privacy. You know, it, it's, it might take some work for us to get this exactly right. This is something that we think is going to be a really good thing. Have you been interviewed? I, I, I have not. Others have. I, I believe so, and I want to be careful here because that our work with the special counsel is confidential and I want to make sure that in an open session I'm not revealing something that's <clears throat> confidential. And today I want to talk about three ways that we can create a world where everyone has a sense of purpose. By taking on big, meaningful projects together. By redefining equality so everyone has the freedom to pursue their purpose. And by building community all across the world. That's not the plan. Um, would anything change that? Uh, I mean, uh, like eventually over time, I mean, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be doing this forever. But, um, but I, I certainly, I, I'm not currently thinking that that makes sense. Not a real answer to the privacy question, more like the canned response of a typical business executive. There have to be ads either way because we have to make money. And the, we have 400 employees and, you know, I mean, we have to support all that. And 
make a profit. I just want to make clear that you have been contacted, you have had subpoenas. Actually, let me clarify that. I, I actually am not aware uh, of, of a subpoena. I believe that there may be, but I know we're working with. But we live in an unstable time. There are people left behind by globalization across the whole world. And it's tough to care about people in other places when we don't first feel good about our lives here at home. There's pressure to turn inwards. This is the struggle of our time. The forces of freedom, openness, and global community against the forces of authoritarianism, isolationism, and nationalism. Forces for the flow of knowledge, trade, and immigration against those who would slow them down.